This is the 1983 Randix model RCC-88. A recent thrift store find that caught my attention. Because uh, the first thing that caught my attention is it has a slot loading cassette player. Second thing was the older style Futaba display pre-1985 edition. It is very bright, and I'll get into that later. It also does AM, FM, TV, VHF, low and high, and weather band. I'll give you a quick tour of this unit right now. So on the right side of this cube, you have volume control tuning, your band control. Coming out of the back, it gets kind of interesting. Start with the FCC ID. It's made... It says made in Philippines, but the FCC ID yields a company called Universal Appliances Limited. And it's real small print right there. It says made in Philippines. Green fluorescent clock cassette radio, 10 watts. Now, Randix was an American company and just basically had imported electronics. At least from what I could see, they are... they're. Products are like better than say a York sound design, etc. So they're above that. And they created products like this. They also used to have Audio Logic by Randix, and there were boom boxes under that from the early 80s, and they were actually of decent quality. But go over the back here, you have a two-step brightness, bright and dim. I'll get into that in a minute. You could wake to buzzer or tape or radio. Auto, off and on. Now this is what threw me off. You think that's a 9 volt battery compartment for battery backup? And on another model, it would be. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get this door to open. Turns out it's glued shut. And it's glued shut from the factory. So, opening it up, uh, apparently a 9 volt battery backup was not an option on this particular unit. <laughs> And apparently the back casing was not changed, so it just glued it shut. It was kind of odd. Um, monorail earphone output. It does have a monopole antenna. And on the side, you have a small, like, two and a half inch speaker. Top of the unit, you have a capacitance touch snooze button. Fast, slow, and time set button, time, you know, time set and alarm buttons, a sleep button, and a slot loading cassette player of the typical play, fast forward, and soft eject controls. Now, the tape transport in this is a Tanishin. And uh, it's not quite like the later models. Like this is, remember, this is from 1983. And yes, it would be considered cheap in 1983 because it does not even have a uh, supply spool spindle at all. So it's just pretty much free wheels in the air. You got to remember, for 1983 standards, what was considered cheap then is actually built far better than anything you could buy today. The mechanism has pretty thick gauge steel construction. It has a nice heavy flywheel driven by a flat belt and it works very well. It has very stable tape speed and it does work as it's supposed to. So even though this type, particular type of cassette mechanism existed later on, you would see in the late 80s onward, which really wasn't changed, this one's much better built. So there is the take-up reel clutch mechanism. You'll notice is common across all the Tanishins from that era. But the flywheel is a nice solid chunk of metal. Very heavy, very nice. New flat belt installed now. And uh, that is your thrust bearing adjustment screw. And uh, let's see, it's August 9th, 1983 on the thrust bearing plate. 
to engage the mechanism without a cassette in it, you press down on that tab. And as you can see, the take-up reel freewheels when the um, pinch roller is not engaged. But I did that because in playback, I can clean the pinch roller probably for the first time in its 40-year life. And as you can see, the supply reel just basically freewheels like that. There's nothing on it. But you always got to adjust your tape speed after changing a belt. See how far that's off. And after, it has a Mitsumi motor as well. But after adjustment, we're at exactly 1,000 hertz. And how does the auto stop work? It's purely electronic. Uh, it hits the end of the tape, presses that lever out, and engages a switch down below, which turns off the motor and switches it back to radio operation. Eject works simply like that. And the last thing, I didn't even know it's had a lighted dial scale, but the incandescent bulb burned out. What I've been using now are these three volt warm white LEDs I salvaged off of some under cabinet lighting. And it looks just like an incandescent bulb, but it's actually brighter. And finally, that black wire that's coiled around the power cord there, it's very hard to see, but it's on the left side. That is the other antenna wrapped around the power cord inductively coupled. So to start with, the VFD is very bright and it's not even tinted. Um, if you're wondering, you saw it was on dim back there. Well, it gets very bright on high. So these older VFDs, this thing had a lot of use on it and it's still nice and bright. Also notice how it's controlled. It has a blinking colon. That's pretty cool. So now we'll demonstrate the radio with the new dial lamp and it looks very uniformly lit and pretty cool. Now, as, I, as you've seen on the inside, one side is coupled to the power cord and it also gives you a monopole antenna for control on here. So let me see what we can do here. And so it does only VHF low and high bands that does not do UHF bands. So this is going to be FM radio reception with the monopole antenna extended. You know, when I go to Starbucks and they ask me for my name and I say George. So from my previous videos on alarm clocks, like I said, this is not a general electric. This sounds like a typical clock radio. Has that the typical I sound to it? <laughs> this is some interesting Thank stuff I'm picking up. I don't know why. That's seven hundred fifty dollars. Where did you get all that? Cash? from a tuning capacitor. But yeah, I would really have to play around with the antenna and tuning because you see how smooshed together it is at the beginning the spacing? Look, it goes from 88 to 94 to 99, just like that. And then 103 to 108. I mean, that's a huge gap there. So you really got to fiddle with the tuning on this right here so again it's not like a GE it's definitely does not have as good of a tuner that's for sure but if I were to pick a station down here or out there too ladies and gentlemen it's, it's good. 
Whether your business can millions or hundreds of millions of dollars, take advantage of this special be real precise with it. That's no all. payments or interest for six months at netsuite.com slash touchdown. That's netsuite.com slash touchdown. All right, let's see what else we can do here. I am on the weather band. I went through the whole scale, and unfortunately, I'm not picking anything up on that. So, on to the next one. I'm going to do this in the dark now so you could see the lighted tuner better. But whenever you turn it off now, it has a bit of a side effect now. Since I didn't see how it operated with the burned out incandescent, with the LED in place, it takes a while for it to discharge. Watch this. Do that again, I'll turn the volume up, see if it makes any difference. Yeah, the radio fades out before the dial light does now. So here is sleep timer operation. Adam again had relations 59 with his minutes. wife, and she gave birth to a son whom she called Seth. God has granted it's the only station I could find. They didn't have music table, playing. She said. Because I liked it when it gave more reasonable 30 seconds to, Seth, to play to music. Turn, definitely get much born, better demonstrations. And he named him Enosh. At that time, men began to... And slowly fades out again. Now let's try the alarm and snooze functions. All right. Got the alarm set. Did not he did not receive favor from God. Now he let's see what buzzer does. Oh, holy crap. Um that is extremely loud. That was very loud. He knew that anger uh, snooze. Was lead to sin. Got into the so boat the typical again, nine minute alarm. and went off to the other shore. I'll just, just swipe they it had again forgotten just because. To bring bread. Okay. Always did like capacitance touch controls like that. But we're going to just shut the alarm off. So here is cassette operation. And yes, you can, as I, sh I may have shown on the back, wake to cassette. And that is one thing. You have to have the function switch actually turned on or in the auto position with the uh, alarm timer or sleep timer to activate it. But as long as a cassette is in, it will play in those modes. Uh, I now have the radio on, but watch how this works, okay? And you press it down in. Light goes out, but that means the tape is playing. Now... I turn the switch off, it's off. Now if I put in automatic mode uh, for the alarm, uh, it'll remain off till the alarm comes on and start playing the tape. But in the meantime. But see, it plays at a nice stable tape speed. Is I have the radio off, but if I press sleep, it works with the sleep timer now. Now let me see, does the snooze work? Yeah, it does. It remembers like the last position the sleep is in, but yeah, you press snooze just to turn sleep off. Pretty cool. And 
another thing I forgot to mention is they actually have the full-size pinch rollers on these older mechanisms, which is a good thing. Now, radio comes back on. Same thing with you, my dear brothers and sisters. And yes, this does have full auto stop. That's right at the end of a tape, end of the tape side. When you it's all electronic Jesus, though. And you leave things behind. If that end of tape switch detects, it just bumps it out to radio mode until I hit, e you know, then you hit eject. I you. Uh, I'll eventually get a video done on this, but I got my uh, video game systems all hooked up through an AV switcher and it, and the Genesis, I have a VA2 revision, which is the first revision of Sega Genesis you could get in North America. And it is the, mo that model only outputs monoroll through the AV out. But if you take the stereo headphone jack and hook it up to anything line level, then you get, you can get your stereo. So I did that. And uh, I still have to demonstrate the stereo I'm using in there because it's pretty unique. I'll say that. And let's just say I recorded some Sonic the Hedgehog. screen Sega. so that really concludes this demonstration on the 1983 Randix model RCC 88 AM FM TV weather band cassette clock radio with the cassette toaster I guess I don't know that's what everybody kept calling it when I uploaded it Special shout out and thanks to Liz, our star patron.